Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we will see how to save a bitmap to an image file in the download folder of your phone from your Android app uh, programmatically. And we will be using the latest version which is Android 14 uh, API level 34. So let's begin. I will create a new project. Name this project probably save image. Save bitmap to image file. Bitmap to image file. You can name it anything, it doesn't matter. And click on finish to load the environment. It may take a while. In the meantime, I'll just quickly show you that I'll be using a code from a previous uh, video. So from here, I can quickly get the code uh, to get the bitmap, which is basically this part of the code. And here it's trying to access the image from the URL, which is my URL, and this is the URL. So we'll be trying to access this particular image, and then we'll use another uh, code from this particular uh, my previous tutorial to save it uh, in a file. So we'll see the combination of these two in this particular video. So let the environment load up. It may take a while. Perfect. My environment has come up. I think what I'll do is I'll also start the emulator in parallel. Uh, pixel 4 which is API 34 and yeah so just to uh, verify that uh, if you go to the build file uh, gradle file you'll see the target SDK is 34 and new SDK is 34 so we are trying to target the uh, uh, yeah API 34 uh, which is basically Android 14 anyway uh, coming to the code part so first and foremost what we can do is is we can include in manifest file permission to access internet because we will be accessing the image from the internet okay so yeah this is what i need perfect i don't think i need anything else in the manifest file so i can just minimize this left hand side and no jump to the layout the layout by default they have given me text view which i don't think i need it so i just delete it and i need a button to trigger and i can name this button probably okay first let me give the constraints and name this button as something like save image you can emit anything so of course you'll be using it uh, let me zoom a bit you'll be using it in some actual code uh, it's, it's just a sample tutorial and uh, what else i'll need is an image view to show the bitmap okay so this is also not very mandatory you can skip this but yeah uh, i'll just also show you the image which we get from there okay so i'll just put some constraints and probably i can make it a bit weak okay so my layout this uh emulator has come up good so i think i can minimize it for the time being i don't need it any, like, anyway right now so i'll just minimize it and focus on my yeah code itself or app development itself yeah so once we have done it so by default the uh, id is given image view so we'll be using that i know if i come to my java class first and foremost what i'll do is i will create a class variable called image view image view and i'll associate it with the widget which image view equals to find view by id r dot id dot image view yeah and also i'll do one thing i'll create a public method public uh, uh, white uh white button uh, show image right or uh, save image not show image save image view view perfect if I quickly jump back to my layout and over here, I'll associate it the button on click attribute to the respective method what we have just now defined. Perfect. So, going back to my code, so over here I can type it, but rather than that, I'll just to save time also, I'll just directly use the code which I have already done in my previous one of my videos. I'll put this URL, but anyway, code will be anyway uh, given in this. So, uh, URL as well, so you can access it from my website. Yeah, so just press Alt Enter and that should be fine. So, okay, bitmap. I think what I'm missing is two more things from this, which is defining the class variables, and that I should do it over here. Perfect. Okay, you may have to press Alt Enter, and that's all for the button save image. Again, we may want to go back to my other page here yeah. and over here i'll be using this storage manager 
thing and then I'll be using the file as my input this part and I'll be using this so, so probably I'll copy paste for the timing hole of this method and I'll remove the parts which I don't need so first let me do one thing let me remove all these errors it looks very dangerous or scary not dangerous but scary at least so just paste So I'm expecting it to yeah prompt alt enter that makes my life easier just keep pressing alt enter and that should be fine we should one by one include everything perfect okay i'll come to this error later but let me first see what all things i need so i definitely need these two things then over here i may do some modification so i can change the file name probably it's no more an input image it's a just image file and so things looks good it's a download folder however i'll do one thing instead of hard coding the file name i'll just make it a bit of dynamic so how i can make it dynamic is i can get this system uh, dot current time in milis and that's yeah that should get the system current time in milis and it will be written as in a long uh, format long data type so but that's fine I can bring it to a new line yeah okay so this is my file uh, name and then I can use this file name okay I don't think I need to create a bitmap because it's already created so I don't need this part however I'll need this and here instead of this one I can use my bitmap which will compress and put it in the byte uh, output stream and then it will get converted into bytes array good I don't think I need an output file name here so I can remove this as well and here I can use it is this one and there's some error let me see it's try catch error so fine I think I can do one thing is I can just put everything into one try catch rather than making multiple try catch and I can just change it to exception probably I'll do one more thing control x yeah so a bit of code refactoring here I'm doing so if you, yeah, you can just skip it for a moment and yeah so I think that's all i think right oh one more thing i think at the start of this uh, button click i can do one thing is i can set the bitmap so that it also displays in my emulator uh, uh that widget what we have we have added the image view widget okay fine so i have run it and let me wait for the emulator to come up yeah in the meantime just yeah, so I think this code should work out. Let me see if it comes up. So I'll rerun. So installation is successful. I'm not sure why I'm getting that error. I'll rerun and see. So even if when I rerun, I still get that error. So I'm not sure. So most likely what is happening here is what my guess is. In this own crit method itself is failing and the only thing what we are trying to do over here is trying to access the image so let me check whether my manifest file is correct or not so this exists okay i think there was a space which was there by probably that was the issue so let me read and see if it works or not yeah so just be careful uh, i think uh, while typing i might have given a space okay perfect it works now so if i click on save image uh, perfect this image comes up right and this image is of course that same uh, it comes from the same url what we have posted over here so it's the same image perfect and if i go back to my this one and if i go to the downloads folder i am expecting yeah perfect so there is an image file over here right i can read on it uh, let me do one thing let me read on it there would, won't be any change over here because of course it's the same uh, uh image but here of course two images because yeah uh, and this number whatever you're saying the name of the file this comes from that long dot milis whatever we have considered the file name over here uh yeah system dot current time milis this is the file name which we are getting over here yeah you can run it once again or i can do one thing i can rerun it completely of course these images will not delete the previous images uh, that will stay in the download folder yeah so comes up if i go and check there one more image comes of course the same image only the file name differs and yeah so that's all i wanted to show you how simple it is now in uh if you are 34 you can use this storage manager uh 
class to do that to just create a file name and you can save it uh, in fact you can save it anyway i have taken the example of download folder however you can save it in the other folders as well just by giving the correct uh, folder yeah so that's all i hope this video is useful to you if you have any questions or suggestions then please put in the comment section below and if you like this video then please subscribe to my channel thank you and have a nice day bye